UNI men's basketball head coach Ben Jacobson moved into a tie for fourth most conference wins by a head coach in Missouri Valley Conference history with his 155th. He added to his total thanks to the combination of veteran performances by Austin Fife and Trey Burhau and some young guns knocking in shots from the outside. Here's how the series against last year's NBC Tournament champions went in the McLeod Center. In the first of two games against Bradley, the UNI Panthers started red hot offensively. In the first 10 minutes, UNI made eight of their first 13 shots for an early six point lead. It was two early three point baskets that got the offense in rhythm. I mean, it was, it was big. I think in practice it really showed. We showed our physicality in practice and just brought the intensity back to where we needs to be. And obviously it showed in this game. Uh, we had a lot of guys step up and play great tonight. And then just down the stretch, kind of going back to Guys like Trey and Ty had played great down the stretch and just that leadership and seniorship and that experience that we have just going to what we know, what we're good at really showed at the end of the game. In the final seven minutes of the game, you and I went to a newly added wrinkle offensively that was installed during the past week of practice. The wrinkle was brand new for you and I's newcomers and was executed to near perfection. Uh, we just slowed it down, put in some more set plays. I mean, just different actions for us to look at, just catch and shoots, um, easier reads for some pick and rolls, and then obviously our flow offense at the end just to dictate what we, are, what we usually do. You and I was led by junior Austin Fife, who finished with 18 points and nine rebounds. Trey Burhau made three three-pointers and scored 15, while Noah Carter had 14 points. The Panthers shot better than 50% for the entire game as eight of the 10 players that played scored. It was a balanced offensive attack that helped protect you and I's home floor in the series opener. You know, when you've got a number of guys that are, uh, are, are doing a good job, you, know, you can leave them out there a little longer. And, and I think that's the kind of team that we need to be, Nick. We need to, to have those eight guys. And then Evan and Cole, they just got to keep getting better. You know, I think they can help us. Uh, so that was I, that worked well for us tonight. The rematch took place one night later, also on the Panthers' home floor. Another great start on offense for you and I, and some incredible energy going after rebounds against a very physical Braves team turned into a 40 to 28 rebounding advantage for you and I, and another close game. We talked about it a lot coming into the game that. Bradley, I think it was 10 and a half, they were out rebounding uh, their opponents coming in, which was one of the best in the country. And that's just something we talked about from uh, making sure we have stronger box outs and keeping them off the offensive glass and then uh, vice versa. We have to be able to crash the offensive glass and get some second opportunities for ourselves. But yeah, like you said, in the first half, we uh, liked our number. I thought we were doing a pretty good job. And then a couple late where they got those free throws, those free throw O boards were uh, ones that hurt us. Freshman Bowen Bourne had one of his best games as a Panther, scoring 17 points with four rebounds and made key plays down the stretch of a game that both teams held an eight-point lead in the second half. Um, you know, it was really just our effort. You know, we're, we're a really capable defensive team, and, um, you know, when we come out and really guard and, and guard as a team, um, you know, individually, you know, keeping your guy in front but being in the right help, and, um, you know, I think it shows that we can be a, a good defensive team. You know, they got up and pressured him. They made it hard for him. Uh, he handled himself well. Uh, when, he, when he got freed up, he made threes for us. Uh, I, I thought that that might have been his best game, Nick. You and I made a basket that would have tied that game. It was reviewed and waved off as Bradley takes advantage of 16 you and I turnovers to earn the series split. I think if we'd have played these two games, 10 days ago, I don't, you know, I don't think we would have been in position to win both of them. Uh, so we took some good steps forward this week, Nick, and uh, now we've got to cut out the mistakes.